how do all uh, how are we all doing on this fine day right how I weather a fuel tank <clears throat> so I've already done one and um, that's up there on the plane so we'll do this one so first of all all I've done here so far is just used um, this and that colour there and that's just to smudge on some you know like you get all the greasy hands greasy you know you name it that's the point where it attaches onto the pylon so that's where you're going to get hand and grime going around there now then I noticed that there was a guy put up a, uh, a thing on the IPMS uh, tornado forum um, that uh, Ed China had one of these tanks and was going to turn it into a rocket girl. And on there was a good example of a weathered tank. Now, I'm not going to get an over weather them, these ones, uh, but it was weathered just enough. So I've done that part with the soot and the weathering powders. So we're going to go on to this part, which is using the <laughs> the good old uh, Humbrol paint. This is satin 125. Yeah. So without further ado, oh, stop that. Excuse me, French. The old scalpel just caught me right on the tip of the finger then. I'm amazed how these things nick you. No, we're not leaking. Good stuff. From there. Right, so what we do is we do this. So I've got this brush. So this is um, one of the Tamiya Range brushes, thin brushes. And, um, oh, typical. The number's rubbed out, but if you can make out, the number is just there. But you can't see anyway, so pfft. why, 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 get on with it, brewer, for flipping crying out loud. Right, here we go then. <clears throat> so, and um, doink, so you're right in. So I put this paint over there. I'll put that lid over there because I'm bound to put my hand and fingers and everything else in it. So basically what we've got here, we've got the line of the um, of the tank. So we've got the lines here going round. So you basically follow them along. And just gently touch now how i do this is believe it or not with my heartbeat so i've hit my palm on the, on the table but the beating of my heart is isn't is enough if i've hit a nerve to cause me to just jog it along but it, it's not the best way <coughs> but that's one of the ways i sometimes do it and then other ways so like where we're going around here like this We'll come round here and just dab it on with a fine brush. Hang on, you can't get bloody seen it, can you? Put it over. I'll tell you what. Well, I don't know. Just wonder if I'll... Should be alright now. So where we've got like round the edges here. So any old pan. There is no real pattern to weathering other than airflow. So in this case, the wind goes that way, so it all streaks. But because of the time these things are spent sitting around, normally the flow is this way. So when the rain pours, it, it just runs down the side. But when they're getting knocked and bullied about, you know, then... Uh, And and weathering as a whole, yeah, it is you know it is what it is. There is a skill to it. There is an art to it. Um, I don't dare say I've got that, but you know I just do what I do. Really, I can go about it like this. Uh, it's just a butcher's there, so. There you go, 
this room. With the excuse my light in the background. School's out for summer and all that rubbish. Kids are at home. Must admit they're doing alright at the moment, but the uh, the noisy ones downstairs. Now. Not round here. Could go around the connection points. It takes, it takes a while to get this stuff on, but. but uh, I'm going out of shot here. So basically, just following the lines. Get some of it on. Either side of the line, you know, fill in the centre, little dots here and there. And like I say, around here, this side, you got the. And then nothing really regular other than maybe uh, if you had a receptacle say like um, this here so say this was a filler cap and you're constantly taking on and putting off hoses then yeah you would have you know chipping all the way around it but but uh, you can even take the look off of some of the old um what do you call it? Well, there's a, I know there's a line here, but the pylon comes up to about here. So this line here, you know, you can distinguish by just putting chipping on it. <laughs> and now there's only you. You lot. 200 of you. As a matter of fact, I think the channel's at 203 now. can share my videos lads and lasses I don't mind I'm gonna share them I know they're all what's it they say uh was it tick no uh, what do they say subscribe like and share or something I've been told to say it <laughs> by um, a friend of mine he took a look he said how come you don't go like the others I said well everyone's different and he said yeah but they got more subscribers than you I said oh well you know so be it so he then turned around and said no he said you want to get subscribers he said then you need to subscribe like and share like they all say Fair enough, whatever. It's not going to make me a millionaire, I can tell you. So, we got it out again. Need to zoom in again. So there, there you go, you get the, the idea of how to do flecking and, and chipping with a, with a brush. I mean, obviously there's nothing on the bottom yet, but... You know, um, yeah. Ten minutes of watching me dance a brush around a fuel tank. But you get the idea, yeah? So you can do this for tanks. You can also do this for uh, landing gear. 
<coughs> God, dear, yeah, croaky old voice. Um, you know, uh, it it depends what colour that is as to what colour you use to chip. So, like, with... Um, from what I've been told, and again, I've only been told it, and I'm not an armour person, although I do do the odd bit of armour, because armour, believe it or not, is excellent for practising this kind of stuff on. You know, because you can smash and crap the hell out of it. So, um, yeah, this so armour's a good thing. You want a bit of practice on, you know, doing uh, weathering. Get yourself a, a cheap old tank. Go and buy, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, and just paint it. And, uh, and then go around and see what you can do with a brush. Um, you can... You can also uh, use um, a cocktail stick. So, if you don't believe me, here we go. So you dab the cocktail stick in, and sometimes these are excellent for, you know, like scratches. Albeit they're... Uh... See? So you can do things like that, and things like that. So, yeah, but I've chosen to use a dark grey because it looked like there was a dark grey on this tank that this um, Ed China had. So, uh, yeah, and then with these panels, you can, um, yeah, I noticed that one of the panels on this thing was grey. And there you go. So there's a, a nice grey panel for you. Um, try and move it back into shot. There we go. And then again, just dot around. Here we go, I'm going to stop here now because you're going to get bored out of your tits. Um, right, so anyway, so that's that. Um, like I say, and then, you know, you can go all the way around, just dotting it and, you know, doing it like that. Like that. And then again on the other side, really. There you go. So a bit of wear and tear. Most of it probably be on the top. Anyway. So there you go, there you go. That's how that's how I um I do um chip in on me on my tanks. You don't have to do it that way. You can use a sponge. Um uh, just remember that the tighter grain on the sponge, the more it'll mess up on something this big. Um so I wouldn't use this grain. Um this is a little bit too uh fine. But if you've got the rough edge like that. Then you could always like that, you know, onto, onto it. As a matter of fact, hang on. Could I just quickly show you? So if I put a bit on here like this, and over there, right up to the edge, we'll just make sure you get a bit on. Like that, yeah. So that's what you're you're doing there, right? And then. Let's have a go on a, the front of a a wing on a fuel tank. Just place it on, and there you go. You see, and you could. Everyone's different. And then if you wanted to see what, uh, so let's, um, so let's just do the underside. So if I, if I do here, so you've got a uh, right unevenness. And then if you really want to just use a sponge to smudge it a bit and then come along with a brush and just make some of those patches a bit more pronounced. 
that's the right word. So you had a bit of dark there. Bit of scuffing. And uh, hang on a minute. She's just downstairs, mate. So don't go down. No, 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 don't go down there. She's on the phone to the hospital. Sorry about that. So, um, yeah, there you go. So it's, um, okay. And then that's how you, you would do that with a sponge and a paintbrush. And it's just a paintbrush. So, have a little tip. Okay, guys. Let's zoom out a bit. Let's zoom out some more. Right. That's it. This is me saying bye bye for now. Four. Now, can't do that with fingers. Anyway, see you next time. Cheers.